I just checked into my hotel. I bought a very affordable, basic room. I didn't really think much of it. And this room is so much better than I was expecting. It is humongous, but most importantly, it's the view. It's the view, it's the view. Are you ready? angle isn't gonna work. Hello. <laughs> I'm in London. Once again, I am back. This city and I are kind of creating a relationship together. We're in a situation ship. I would have said before now we're in early stages of going out, whereas now it's pretty obvious we're boyfriend and girlfriend. Me in London, in love. Straight up. Okay, so I haven't properly introduced this vlog yet or started it, but hi. My name is Meg, if you're new here, and I am in London. I am from Ireland, had a quick trip over here. I just have one or two events that I was very, very kindly invited to that I just couldn't pass on. I also have a very important meeting with my management tomorrow, which I'm really looking forward to and I will go into further detail. But today, I flew over here by myself. I'm such a big girl and I'm so proud of me. This year, 2023, is the year of putting myself out of my comfort zone, pushing myself in that way when I can, and one of those things is solo travel. I've like dipped my toe in solo travel over the last year or two but this year I definitely want to do some more trips where I genuinely do three or four days all by myself just trying to enjoy my own company, explore a new place, learn more about certain things all by myself and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm currently just looking at the most gorgeous view, the sun is setting, the buildings look beautiful and I am going to Cirque du Soleil tonight. Cirque du Soleil, if you do not know what that is, is like acrobats. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. It's like really high-end circus without the animals and we're going to the Albert Hall to watch that. A few of the creators with my management and my management are going and it's really exciting that we're getting to do something together like like this. I've just made a fun little trip out of the next two days. Yeah, basically I'm here for like 48 hours. I fly home on Friday during the day, but I pretty much wake up Friday morning and I hop on the train to get back to Gatwick. So it really is just two days of exploring a little bit of London. Anyway, I'm gonna go and watch this view. Like this video if you think I should move to London. Cirque du Soleil and I'm just getting comfy for bed because I've been awake since five o'clock this morning. I'm gonna get straight into my PJs, take off my makeup and get into my bed and I'm very excited about it. But I had the most fabulous, fabulous evening. Some of their What in the f it was so I just dropped my camera. Yes, it was such an incredible show. It was so so cool. It's so nice seeing raw talent like that and creativity in person. Just hearing a crowd go crazy for it was really enjoyable. But enough rambling because I'm ready for my bed. I'm gonna get out of my dress, get into some PJs, and then come back in here and take off my makeup. I don't know if I got to properly show you guys my dress. I was very comfy, very happy, felt good, which is really nice because at the moment it's up and down days with regards to my body and how I'm seeing it and stuff. So it's a process, but 
yeah, I felt good tonight and I felt happy, so win-win. But yeah, let's get into our PJs. Comfy PJs are on. Step one complete. Let's get some jewellery off. I want to get a uh, good sleep this evening so that I'm up and at it tomorrow. I check out of here. I'm staying in another hotel tomorrow night. It is in Carnaby Street, which if you guys watched my last London vlog, I really, really loved that area. And it just so happens that the event I'm going to tomorrow night is on Regent Street around that area. So it just helps me that I don't have to walk far or figure out where to go late at night by myself. Guys, I got these little wristbands to stop the water running down your arms when you wash your face. Honestly, one of the smartest inventions of all time. Some of you may be saying, is there a need for that invention? <laughs> yes. Yes, there is a need. This is the current makeup remover I'm using. It's the Elemis Pro Collagen Naked Cleansing Balm. This one has no fragrance in it. That's the word I was looking for. Just take a clump. I want to do some of the Caudalie Epicot Serum. A little bit of moisturiser and we are good to go. I'm just going to put on some lip balm as well and I am getting into bed. I'm so excited. Good morning everyone, it is currently 10.45 if my phone will focus. I am just quickly doing some makeup for today because it is an exciting day. And I'm so looking forward to it. I'm literally finishing my makeup, getting changed, heading out the door and the adventure begins. So how are you guys doing? I hope you're all well. The reality of college starting next Monday hit me this morning and I was literally like, oh God, oh God. I start on Monday. And I'm in denial, it's a nice place to be. I also had a gorgeous sleep. This hotel is great. If you are looking to stay in the Kensington area, this is pretty much, I would say, like the ideal spot because I was 300 meters away from the Royal Albert Theatre last night. And also, if I just walked in that way, I'm on the road for, I think it is the Natural History Museum here in London. And I wish, I wish, I wish I had the time to go, but today is just too jam-packed for it. But that is okay, another time, another time. I have been before actually. But yeah, it's called the Queen's Gate Hotel. I definitely recommend it, especially for this area. It's really nice. The original plan for this trip was I was gonna fly home after my meeting today and I was gonna get a late flight home. But then an event came up and I was like, okay, I'm gonna stay. So that is why I'm going over to another hotel this evening. I hadn't booked this one for two nights. I just thought I may as well book it somewhere else because it's fun to stay at different places. I am going to a screening tonight in Regent Street Cinema for The Fablements, which is Steven Spielberg's new film. I can't even tell you how happy my little film and TV student heart is right now. This is so exciting. There's gonna be people there. I'm gonna be there. It's not a premiere, do not get it twisted, but it's still the coolest thing on the planet. And like it's Warner Brothers, so I'm, I'm, I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out. I literally can't wait for that. But why don't I get my makeup done, get dressed, and we'll continue this conversation. Okay, so I am all ready to go for the day. I'm all packed, changed, makeup done. So I am going for a meeting this evening with my management at half two. And it's a vision meeting, so I thought I'd give you a little rundown of what it is. It's basically us discussing the upcoming year, my goals, my aims, the achievements I want to make with my channel and my work and all that kind of stuff. So it's just like a big creative discussion about how we can get there, our plans, anything that they can do to help me, anything I can do to help myself, which I'm so, so excited about because I absolutely adore, I adore, I adore, I adore this job. But yeah, so that's what I have at half two. 
and that's on till about four. I get back to my other hotel and I'm going to the screening. It is just such an achievement for me going to this. I found out about the event on Monday and I was like, okay, I have to stay the extra night, but I'm very much looking forward to this. I think it's gonna be so fun, so inspiring, so cool and just such a uh, an amazing thing. So I think today's gonna be very exciting, very motivating. I'm really looking forward to it and I better get going because it's a big day, it's a busy day and I've got a bit of traveling around the city too. Next stop from here, I'm going over to Carnaby Street to my hotel. I'm gonna leave my bags there, have a little wander around, hop on the tube, get over to my meeting, get back from my meeting over there, get back to my hotel, get some food, have a little wander around and then at about quarter to six, I'm going over to the screening. Let's go, let's have an exciting day. Love ya. Knee jerk reaction is fight or flight. First sign of color, I run and hide. But you came like rain on a summer night. And I think you're rewiring my mind I've been taking cover under my skin But I want to step outside and take it all in Cause baby it's like a light storm To be yours Thunder crash until the sky's torn you're like a light storm, a light storm oh. 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 Mm -hmm. A light storm Stop the battle within your soul You know it's all in your head Being sad doesn't make you smile It's not as entertaining as it is on the TV show. Well, is he okay now? <laughs> God, I hope so. Okay, well, it's been a major hit. But can we expect the Fablemans 2? Will there be. <laughs> we feel the same magic watching it that we felt putting it together. So, once again, thank you and enjoy the show. Good morning everyone, it is Friday. It is nine in the morning and I'm going home now. <laughs> I am super sad, but at the same time, I feel like I've had just the most amazing, productive, exciting two days, 48 hours here in London. And I can't thank you all enough for joining me on this trip. Last night was a dream. I went to the Fablemans and it was so good and at the start the lead actor came out to like talk about the film which was amazing. I went with my manager Kira. we had the best time. I just, it just made my heart so happy and obviously my meeting before with my beautiful management was so fabulous. I just got to chat with my team, talk about the upcoming year, some goals that we have. And yeah, just kind of like discussed all of that kind of stuff. It was incredible. I just feel like we're so on the same page. I adore my management because they just, they get me to a T. Now I'm gonna go home. When I get home, I need to get my room cleaned. I wanna get myself a little bit more organized for starting back at college on Monday. It's gonna be a crazy few weeks. Somebody in the building across from me has just noticed me filming. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna die of embarrassment right now. But at the same time, embarrassment is a state of mind that you can change. So I'm not embarrassed anymore. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. That person's not gonna think about that ever again. So I'm fine. Anyway, I am gonna hop up. 
I'm gonna go. The airport makes me a little anxious. But thank you all for joining me for my little 48 hours in London. I will see you all very soon in my next video. Sorry I didn't get to do more touristy things. It was a busy two days. But don't you worry guys. The London diaries, the London vlogs don't end here. I will be back. Love ya.